Hey guys, welcome to another review of a new blaster. This time it's the Nerf Mega Series Centurion. The Mega Series is a sub series of uh, the Elite Series Mega because it shoots these Mega darts, and these Mega darts uh, come into a Mega clip. And it's really mega, just as a size comparison. This is a regular six dart clip. The blaster itself is also very large. I think it doesn't really fit into the frame. I'm gonna make a total view of it and uh, lay it over this picture. I really like the looks of this blaster. It's just one long shape aside from the from the grip, no carrying handle, no nothing. On the mechanical side there's also a very innovative feature. You know that in regular clip system blasters you just cannot simply uh, insert a clip. You have to prime the blaster before. And uh, on the Centurion, it's just the other way around. Here you insert the clip before you prime the blaster, which I find really good because it prevents dry firing and you do not have to prime the blaster just to take out the clip. The mechanism has been inverted, so everything works the other way around. The nice thing is that uh, the internal mechanism now results in a, in a double sound when you shoot the blaster. Now when I'm shooting here against the wall, I hope I don't uh, shoot myself in the head. I hope you could also see that the blaster has a slight of amount of recoil to it, which I think is really cool and rivals a Stampede when it comes to style. Just once more to make sure you get the sound, it's like a clacon. The blaster is advertised with a range of up to 100 feet. In reality I would say that it's a maximum of 75 feet and that's really the best you can get if you shoot parallel to ground. But uh, what is more is that the, those mega darts have the same struggle like normal elite darts. I would have wished they would fly more like Whistler or Tagger darts, but they just fishtail around. I'm having problems to uh, shoot down my hallway, for example, um, because the darts would just uh, fishtail and hit the walls instead and never make it to the other side of the hallway. Speaking of the darts, I ask myself how durable they are going to be. Just because of the size of them, the hole in the middle is uh, really large and the foam is just the same thickness as a regular dart. And somehow I have the feeling that uh, they are getting more porous the, the more often you shoot them. And this is what a mega dart looks like if you step on one accidentally. I hope that refill packs will not be too expensive because you're gonna need a lot of them. Um, if they cost 15 dollars for uh, 10, 10 darts, I think I will pass. Getting shot at from a close range with this blaster in stock form already stinks a little bit. Um, and also because of the sheer size of it, I wouldn't recommend this blaster for anybody like under 10. It's more teenager blaster for 13 and up. This is the orange trigger version, so it shouldn't be different from the American version. If you're modding this, you should really be careful, I think, because uh, it is already visible uh, how much power the blaster has. And this may sound like with a va wagon finger, but um, I think uh, you should really have some common sense when modding this because uh, at uh, some stage it's just not uh, healthy anymore. 
my hope is uh, to find out how to remove the dot pack uh, from the inside um, to make it possible to stick a normal dot or a half of a normal dot into the hole of the mega dot to make it uh, heavier in the tip to make the dots fly straighter. In stock form you shouldn't do that as a random shadow pointed out because the blaster would uh, result in a heavy jam. I hope that it's gonna be possible to do this someday. But in this stock form I just cannot give the Centurion big points because in this form it's not useful for anything more than a role play. It's not useful for anything serious gaming stuff. It doesn't get the ranges you would expect from this blaster and also in the range it does get it's not uh, useful because of the fish tailing darts and if you have a rapid strike opposing you um, you just won't stand a chance. There's just no way unfortunately. Summing it up I would just as I said, had loved to give the Centurion more points, even though I didn't give the Centurion any points because I just really don't like giving Blasters points because the Blaster mostly comes out underrated because of the hard facts that the numbers include. But due to the poor inaccuracy, I just can't do that. The style is awesome, it's just uh, that long priming distance, how long is that? 13 centimeters, that's 12 or 15 inches, and then that double sound when you shoot the blaster. That's just so cool. Um, the way you remove the magazine is awesome as well. Well, I just hope this blaster is moddable anytime soon. For now, for somebody who's looking for a new effective blaster, I would say get a rapid strike.